Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Installment of Scott Selections here for Wednesday, May 4th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in baseball with the Cardinals and Royals. No run first inning at minus 130 on FanDuel. Really was never in doubt. I believe one guy got on base and he got thrown out trying to steal. So that was basically it. No drama, no sweat whatsoever. Look for the winner here on Wednesday. However, we're going to transition back to basketball. Look at a matchup in the Eastern Conference between the Sixers and the Heat for game two of that series taking place at around 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. And for the play today, we're going to take a player prop in this one. We're going to take James Harden under nine half assists at minus 125 on DraftKings. Time recording of 3 a.m. Eastern time. Covering's why I like the under here for Harden assists. First of all, based on recent form, this number is too high. He's recorded less than 10 assists in three of his last four games. On top of that, when it came to facilitating, he was pretty awful in game one as Harden only recorded five assists, and it seemed like Miami did a very good job of really just keeping an eye on potential open shooters and limiting Harden's assist numbers as a result. But that's not a surprise because Miami has been elite at preventing opponent assists all season long as Miami only allows 22.9 assists per game, which is the third fewest in the league. Plus, Philadelphia also did not score many baskets in game one as the 76ers only scored 92 points. Of course, Embiid is out. Apparently, DeAndre Jordan's going to start again, so have fun with that experiment. But either way, with Embiid being out of the lineup, Philadelphia's offense looks very underwhelming and borderline lost at times. And if you're not going to put the ball in the basket that much, then obviously you're not going to get many assists. But on top of that, this is really nothing new regarding Harden's struggles assisting the ball against Miami. Because if you want to go historical, he's really not recorded many assists in the recent meetings. Harden has recorded less than 10 assists in five of his last six meetings against Miami. So it seems like Miami's game plan whenever they face Harden is to let him do whatever he wants in the isolation, let him try to score 30, 40 points, and just simply put, limit the amount of assists and limit his ability to get his teammates involved. Now, of course, the scoring is a serious question mark for Harden because he looks injured and he can't really move out there. But I do believe Miami's game plan will be to just force Harden to try to beat them in the one-on-one -on -one and dare him to try to score a lot of points. So it wouldn't surprise me if Harden's shooting numbers went up here, just based on attempts. But when it comes to Miami's defensive game plan in game one, it seemed like the plan was keep an eye on the shooters, let Harden do his thing, and we'll hold them to 92 points. So at the end of the day, nine app assists is way too high for a guy who has struggled against Miami historically when it, came, when it comes to assists. He struggled in recent form when it comes to assists. And Miami is one of the best defenses in the league at preventing assists. I'm going to take the values. The play that I once again here for Wednesday, May 4th, is going to be on James Harden under nine app assists and minus 125 on DraftKings. Bye, everyone.